All right, in this video I'm going to do another example related to the product rule. So here we're going to take the derivative of g of x equals 3x to the fourth plus 2x minus 1 times the quantity x to the fifth minus 2x squared. So all right, well if we take our derivative here, if I do the derivative of the first factor, okay, so the 4 would come out front and multiply by the 3 and that would give us 12 x, and then we take 1 away from our exponent, which will give us to the third power. Um, the derivative of positive 2x is just going to be positive 2, and then the derivative of our constant negative 1 just turns into a 0. Um, so we took the derivative of the first factor, we'll leave the second one alone, and then we'll take a uh, we'll leave the first factor alone, so we'll have 3x to the fourth plus 2x minus 1, and then when we take the derivative of uh, x to the fifth, well, the 5 will come out front, we'll take 1 away from the exponent, and then uh, when we take the derivative of negative 2x squared, okay, so the negative 2 comes along, and then uh, the 2 will multiply by the 2, which will give us 4, and then we'll have x, we take 1 away from the exponent, so that'll be the second factor. Um, and now, all right, well, ugh, uh, we could always clean this up a little bit. Um, probably, what I usually start looking for at this point are common factors. Uh, notice there's not anything, there's not really the same thing inside the parentheses on any of these. So I think probably what I would do in this case is just leave this one alone. And that's our derivative. You could always multiply all this stuff back out, collect all your like terms. But um, again, just to illustrate the product rule, I think I'm going to leave it there.